Welcome everyone, this is James Rice gonna bring you guys a new video today. <laughs> today we're gonna talk about, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, we are going to talk about art and how it has affected my life. And maybe if it's affected your guys' life. I'd like to fill you in on my life. Fill you in on the things that I like to do. They keep me motivated, keep me grounded, they keep me inspired to achieve those dreams and be successful as a person, as a human. So art is a big one of those. It's a, it's huge. It keeps me focused, it keeps me grounded, it keeps me motivated to keep striving to get better and better in art. It's what I do, it's what I love, it's what I've been doing for many years before even working out. So it's be, it's like the beginning, it's a first stone placed. Uh, I started doing art when I was about five years old, I believe. Little, little kid, <laughs> little hooligan, doing art back in the day, trying to mimic or trying to get as great as my brother because he is an awesome artist so always strive to be just like him in art or to surpass him in the skill of art um, I'm a big illustrator I love illustrating I love mixed media I love pen and ink I love to mix everything together and just really make my own so in that journey of trying to beat my brother or get better than him it was an evolving period it was a period where I found myself in art. I wasn't just chasing him or mimicking his style. I made my own. And we can relate that to many other journeys in life, whether you know, you're trying to be a bodybuilder or you're trying to create your own business and you're trying to, you know, mimic the style of others and trying to do what they do to hit that successful mark in their lives. You start creating your own niche your own personality, something that's truly your own and not just a knockoff of someone else's. You create your own life. You create your own success. You create your own destiny. You create something completely your own and something that you could be happy for. You just got to keep moving and you got to keep experimenting. To find something that you really love and something that you really are comfortable with and sharing with the world. Something that's truly your own. Something that stands out. Be yourself. Use your creativity. Use your personality to make something your own. Because that's what separates you from the pack. Puts you on your own path. Makes you really stand out instead of just um, being drowned out by every other person that's doing the same exact thing. And not doing something different. Not really being true to themselves. So that's what I've learned. That's what I've experienced in this art path. For about three years I've nailed art. Got really serious with it. Three years. I used to do like art piece a week. Bam, bam, keep perfecting my craft, perfecting my craft, perfecting my craft. For three years, about three or four art pieces a, a month. That was insane, but I wouldn't take it back for the world because it's really got me to where I am today. For right now, I probably do one to two art pieces a day because as of now, quality beats quantity. I can really take my time with an art piece and really make it to where how I envisioned it rather than just rushing an art piece. I'd rather have that quality over quantity. It just says, you know, lifting weights, that quality beats that quantity. Really getting those reps in. Really doing the right exercise and keeping the right form. It's going to get you better results than if you just do it quick and sloppy. Translate to multiple uh, means of fields of what people do on a day to day basis. I guarantee you, quality will always be quantity in most parts. But I would like to extend 
<laughs> something to you guys. Extend a request to help me, to help little old me grow, to help my art be um, highlighted upon many eyes of people. Because that's what art's all about, and that's I want to help others, I want to inspire others and show my art to the world. That's always been a dream of mine. And I've had that through art shows, and now I can expand it with you guys and hundreds of thousands of others. So I've entered this art contest, and this is where you guys come in. Unfortunately, it's only for the select few who do have PlayStation or Xbox accounts, because this is um, a contest that a game I do play. They set up an art contest, and I thought it was a great opportunity to make an art piece for this contest. And here it is. And for the link, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can see the actual uh, image without being all like weirded out by the webcam. Here it is. It took me about two weeks to make color, use ink, fill it all in, make it awesome. These are the two two of my friends that I've met on Destiny. It's an online game. And hey, I'm blessed to have those people in my life. So great experiences to get that. And I was happy to make that art piece for them and to share it to them because of how they impact, impacted my lives and have you guys truly impacted my life through the growing followers, through the growing subscribers, through the more views per video. It has truly touched my life and I am forever grateful to you guys for making one of these dreams become a reality in my life. So, I'll leave a link down below to the contest if you do, once again, if you, it's only for those who do, who have a PlayStation or Xbox account, you just log in, put your email, your password for that login, and then you just click that picture. There should be like a like, a light button that you click, and it'll have you voted for that picture. It will help me tremendously to get exposed and make one of my other dreams come true have an art piece that's you know displayed upon hundreds of thousands and really be happy about that It'd be an honor three work three long years almost four of hard work you know it comes to this little highlight <laughs> a little successful mark if you guys can help me out that'd be great if you can't hey thanks for viewing and just give this video a like that would touch my heart and the many feels <laughs> So, thank you guys for watching. As always, stay risen, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, stay creative. Keep on your art. That's what I want to say. Follow your dreams. Stay creative. Pick up something. Make it your own. Make life your playground in this artistic way. Stay creative. Till next time.